posture, everything going to the ceiling this way. Pelvis forward. Okay. Now, once I'm here, same exact pass. Hand comes in, open it up, elbow to my ribs. This hand, again, above the knee. Here. Now, I have to get this up on my shoulder. I'm not going to lift it up there. I want to bring my leg that's forward, my knee going towards his armpit like I'm doing a forward lunge. So my knee goes towards his armpit. I lower my body. It fits exactly where it should fit, right here, right on my neck. Now, grab the traps, this hand, make it disappear. It's very important not only to stack him. If I leave this arm out too long, Joey could pull it out, and then I'm in danger of getting caught in a triangle choke or arm lock. So as soon as I get this up, I make this arm disappear right down to his lower back. Now he can't pull me into that triangle. Lift his butt up, put his knee to his nose, prop him up. Now we finish the pass. We take the leg out, push with the chest. Nice tight cross side position. Here. Leg up, big toe out, that's crucial. Here, heel goes down, knee pointed towards his belly. This way. Not relying on my arms at all. To get smacked them out of the way, doesn't matter. Good posture. My posture is right here. Now, we open it up. In. We reach underneath. All I got to do is grab his thigh right here. Now, my knee goes towards his armpit, like I'm doing a forward lunge, and I lower myself. Here. Grab his traps, picky next to his neck. Make it disappear. Lift up his butt, knee to nose. That's what I want. No space between his leg and my neck. Take the leg out. Push with your chest. Nice tight cross side position. Hand in the chest, hand in the hip. Same side. The arm is forward, leg up. Now for the very important part. Big toe out. We don't take another step up. Like a windshield wiper. I'm going to bring this leg out here. Big toe on the floor. So I'm here to here. Now my heel drives down. Knee goes forward. Hips forward, pelvis forward. Here, when you stand up, you should be looking like an archer here. Okay, let's do that again. Here, here, big toe out, heel down, knee forward, pelvis forward. Here, a little bend in my legs. This is where all my base is and my posture right here. Going for my first pass, open up, going to get him stacked, he's got his legs wide. Both hands underneath, right towards his upper thighs. Now, slide him up on his shoulders, bring his butt to your chest, here. Now, palm to palm. Keep the weight on him. Walk to one side, use your shoulder to squeeze that leg in front of your face. As Soon as that leg passes, you bring your arm back, hug. Underneath, palm up, underneath his shoulder, shoulder pressure in his face. Post in, wide legs, pelvis low. You don't want him to be able to look back towards you. You want that shoulder right in his chin. Slide him up on the shoulders. Now, the reason why I'm telling you to use your shoulder to squeeze the leg in front and bring your arm back, if and wrestlers do this a lot. They grab the legs and they just throw them to the side here. Now, if he doesn't know jujitsu on bottom, I could just bring this around his head and pass the guard. If he's skilled in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, he'll grab my elbow. It's hard for me to get back, chest to chest. I'll have to come up. If I come up, Joey can just roll back into a triangle or guard or whatever. That's why I want to use my shoulder to clear that leg.
bringing the arm back. He can't do that now. Look at another way to pass the guard. We're standing up in posture, big toe out, heel down, we open up. I go to come underneath, Joey starts escaping his hip. My knee goes down above his knee. Straight down my butt to get this leg up on my shoulder, here. That's where I want to be, everything low and tight. Now, this leg comes off, I come forward, palm up, shoulder pressure. Now I kick this leg back, keeping my foot hooked here. Now, as soon as I unhook this, I bring my knee in. So you cannot slip this leg underneath my body. Now replace my knee, my hand. Nice tight cross side. Now we're gonna go over, if he defends that pass, how we go back to our stacking pass. Here, big toe out, heel down, we open up. He goes to slide, his hip out, we trap it. We go low, we trap him right here. Now, I'm gonna go do that same pass I've just done. When I go to do that, Joey's pushing away. He's making it difficult for me to get that shoulder pressure that I want. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring my hand, my forehand is gonna reach pinky next to his neck, grabbing his traps. Now, very important, I make this arm disappear between his legs. Now I unhook. As soon as I unhook here, my leg comes up, this hand disappears to his lower back. Lifting up his butt, stacking him the same way we started off with. Knee right on the lower back, big toe on the floor, heel on the floor, same thing with my other foot. Take the leg out, push with the chest. Nice tight cross side position. He's stopping me from playing tight and getting that shoulder pressure that I want. All right, the great thing about this pass is I have an option to go to left to right. So now I can't pass the one way. I'm just going to put my pinky next to his neck, grabbing his traps. Make sure you bring this arm underneath before you unhook his leg. You don't want to do it before because then you get caught up in the triangle. Okay, so we're here, keeping him trapped. Bring this arm through. Now, knee comes up, hands on the small of the back. We stack, this is where I want to be. Take this leg out, push with your chest. And there we are, cross-side position. 